So we're going to move into informal proposals now. Yeah, if you have an informal proposal, would you please Prayer. raise your hand? Philip? Anyone else? Alright. So we're just going to ask to keep the presentation of the informal proposal at three minutes, and then we'll take any clarifying questions. <laughs> And do a temp check to see how uh, people feel about that idea presented in the informal proposal. Go ahead, Harry. All right, um, I'm going to hand out a couple of these real quick on each aisle. Sorry, a few. Uh, so here to the people over there. Here to. Oh, you'll pick here. Yeah. I need to keep one. One. Because I need to be able to tell the speech. Okay. Alright, anyway, so what I'm um, doing as an informal proposal, hopefully later on, maybe next Sunday, be a proposal, is on the 23rd of March, the 236th anniversary of the Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech done by Patrick Henry over at St. John's Church, about a mile from the uh, State Capitol building. Um, what I'd like for us to do as an organization is do a march from that state capitol building all the way, or sorry, from St. John's Church to the state capitol building, hopefully to do the speech beside the uh, wonderful uh, uh, Patrick Henry statue there. But sadly, there's a law in place that could prevent us from doing this. And I'm willing to take the bullet on this one. Uh, I, will, I would like to reenact the speech with the march and everyone being there, uh, uh, which is insurrectionist speech, which is illegal on state capital grounds. A little bit stupid in my opinion. Anyway, so I'd like to do that on, on Friday, March 23rd. Um, as part of, of the proposals, I'd like for us to, one, reenact the speech, two, uh, we will need bike traffickers uh, to uh, be there to block traffic so that we can march on through. Uh, three, this is a one mile march down Broad Street, so it's good public view. Everyone will notice. Four, this is on a Friday. I'm suggesting five o'clock, but if you guys want to do it at a different time, I don't have a job really. I can do it whenever. Um, five, I would suggest that we have someone to be announced by GA or an affinity group to uh, hold a discussion about how uh, we at Orba uh, tend to shy away from um, violent activities while in his speech he's pretty much saying let's go to war. Uh, so that's a great opportunity for us to discuss that and why we think the way we do as far as violent tactics versus nonviolent tactics. Also, oh, it gave us a chance to talk about NDAA and how Patrick Henry would have disappeared under that. Um, and then finally, I would suggest for this that we have signs that uh, steer towards uh, free speech right, um, for this particular protest. Obviously, you can bring whatever you want, but that would be my suggestion. Um, thank you. And actually, that was perfect timing. So, questions? Clarifying questions. Um, Bobby and Mr. Ramsey and Stacy. Yeah, I'll wait. Okay. Don't the daughters of the revolution put on uh, March on the same day of the anniversary of his speech? Just out of curiosity, because like, would we be co-mingling with him? Hmm, it's a good possibility. That'd be cool. Uh, I'm okay with that. Anyone against that? No. Oh, and I commend you for messing with the cops. Talks. I like that. Yeah. Well, what's interesting is if they are, they have permission to do so. Why shouldn't we then? Right. So that's yeah. Yeah. if we're going to work yeah. together yeah. on it. I'm sorry. Can't signal stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll put you on. <laughs> yeah. We'll put you on. If you have a question, you can. If you have a question, you can ask it in the room. Okay. Other. Oh, sorry. Did they not get over here? 
Oh, and it has the speech on there. In general, we don't do a lot of discussions about an informal proposal. Um, the goal is just to get an idea of how people feel about it. Um, so, John Ramsey? I wonder if you might be thinking about getting the people's mic on this. Um, I'm okay with the people's mic on this. Because there is a small chance of um, laws being broken, I understand people not necessarily wanting to do people's mic on that. I'm willing to jump on this grenade. to move this to a temp check. Um, how do you, if you are in favor of this informal proposal? Okay. Um, all those on the, on the fence uh, stand sides? There's about four of those. Um, and anyone against? There's two. Yes, there's two dissenting voices in there. Two dissenting. Um, question. Um, we normally don't uh, discuss or hear dissenting voices in the formal proposal. This one. <coughs> because it's time sensitive, so uh, I don't know if you want to move me to formal, but we'll see. I'll just say it and I can say it again if I need to. Um, I actually want to formally endorse the um, mountain, the funeral for the mountains, um, so that Occupy Richmond has the ability to put it out there, because right now we, can, we can't do that unless it's formally endorsed. Um, and I'm just going to give you guys a little bit more information. Uh, Governor McDonald will be attending the Coalfields Lobby Day reception in Richmond every year. The Virginia taxpayers subsidize coal mining, including mountaintop removal. Mountaintop removal sounds just like how it is. Coal, including our, um, mining, just as, by as much as $40 million. It is outrageous in our tax dollars of subsidizing the destruction of the beautiful Appalachian Mountains, poisoning our water, and destroying communities. Um, Sierra Club did this last year. I think it was fairly successful, but due to the zeitgeist of this year, I think it could probably be a lot more successful. Um, and that is at Thursday from 5 to 6 outside of the Omni. And they suggest that you wear black and veils and be dramatic. If you can. Um, so uh, I'm asking for a formal endorsement so we can get it out there. Right. I can wait for till formal. Um. You are aware it's informal proposals. Right. We, we put endorsements in between. At, That's where I the end. Yeah. A lot of people have been coming with endorsements for proposals. Right. Um, so if, I can wait. if you'd like to temp check the idea that is an informal proposal. I'll just proposal. wait for it to go through and vote yeah, Everyone heard me. It's fine. Okay. We'll move to the next then. I was just a little bit confused about the agenda. Sure. Philip? Oh, okay. Um, this is from uh, me and Aaron Linus. We want to informally propose right now that we have a once a week conversational assembly that would be a kind of lightly moderated, more like a debate format. This would be a space for Socratic philosophical dialogue, a space for us to talk about our kind of broad ideas about life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> so, uh, if I could just get a uh, quick temp check and some clarifying are questions. There, yeah, are there any questions for Philip before doing a temp check on that? Uh, Alan and Will have a question. Two points of information, three points of information, another question. So, I'll start with the questions first. Alan and Will and David. 
Could this proposal be, uh, in fact, applied as, as a, a slight modification to the special assembly that we've already approved? Because we're not going to have enough nights in the week shortly. For, <laughs> and, uh, I'm not aware of the uh, special assembly, <coughs> the <coughs> nature of that was. Um, I believe, is there somebody like to clear to that? Um, special assemblies have been approved for Wednesdays, and GAs are approved for Thursdays and Sundays. And what a special assembly in the original proposal was, half of the first part was to be free speech, so about three hours, um, an hour and a half for free speech and an hour and a half for education, um, whether that be speakers or topic or um, different things such as that nature. Um, uh, that would be the special assembly. So it's a lot more open and loose, just kind of dialogue and conversation that set aside for Wednesdays. Um, so I don't know if that kind of meets your requirements or if you want to make an amendment to what special assemblies is, because that might be the most helpful for you. Uh, it sounds like it's close, but I think we were thinking about it was a little bit different than that. Okay. Well, that's a, I mean, you can get with me or Josh or England afterwards. Josh is a point person for that, but I know he's looking for other point people. Okay. That. So maybe if you guys work together, you can figure it out. Okay, uh, Will, had a question? Mm -hmm. Alan, still my thunder on that one. Ah. Um, David, you had a question. question Joyce. All right, uh, David, you so sort of here correctly, it's more of a debate type format. It would have we'll be closer to a debate. I just use that in terms of the moderator will be moderating more as a debate moderator than like our usual facilitation team. Can you just repeat what the title of this event is and what you're holding it? It would be a conversational assembly. And since this is an informal proposal, we haven't worked out the details yet. I just want to temp check the idea to see if we should move forward with planning. Okay, thank you. Um, I think we're ready to move to a temp check. Um, all in favor? Twinkle your fingers. All right. All stand aside. <coughs> any, no. uh, any dissenting? If it uh, stuck or side for the list of informal proposals, are there any others? Okay. Um, to just ask a second pause and then talk with facilitation and see what we're going to do. We do have a break scheduled before formal proposals, um, but I'd like to ask you all if you'd like to hear Claire's proposal again uh, as a formal proposal. Is she seeking endorsement for a time-sensitive event? Any objections to that? All right. Uh, Claire. Does everyone need to hear it again? I didn't hear it. Okay. Well, um, I'm seeking a formal endorsement for the um, mountaintop coal removal funeral that Sierra Club put on last year. They're putting on again. It's at the Omni between 5 and 6 um, on Thursday. So they're encouraging people to wear black like it's funeral, blah, blah, blah. But the, only, the reason I'm seeking an endorsement is that so we can promote it via our conduits of Occupy Richmond. Are there clarifying questions? All right, so... We'll move to a vote. Oh, sorry, there's a question here behind you, Claire. Mm -hmm. Claire, how would you do that at 5 o'clock at the office? Would you like to be outside of the door? They're going to be outside. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so, we'll move to a vote. Um, all in favor of this proposal? Keep them up, please. Stand aside. See one. Uh, all those against? See one. Okay. Um, 
We have the availability to hear dissenting voices against formal proposals in GA. I choose not to. Alright. Um, so there we go. The proposal passed. And uh, one stand aside. Thank you, Claire. Yeah, remind me. Oh, okay. And also, if you do have a dissenting vote, but you, you want to say something, but you don't want to say those little you can always give me over. I can come talk to you about it. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, the time is 6.25. We are going to take a 10-minute break. Um, and reconvene at 6.35. Who's got that damn plastic bag? <laughs> Rain's like, I want candy. No, I don't want candy. Oh, I want to hear the crinkling. Let's put it in a bowl. Let's get rid of the crinkling. It's making me crazy. <laughs>